This video is about how to fix low GPU usage while gaming and make sure your graphics card runs at its full potential. If you're on a low-end PC or laptop and struggling with stutters and low FPS, this video will help solve those problems. Just stick around until the end and don't forget to subscribe. These tweaks focus on improving GPU performance, but what about your connection? That's where Gear Up Booster comes in to stabilize your network for lag-free gaming. Want super low ping in all the games? That's where Gear Up Booster comes in clutch. Download Gear Up Booster right now with the top link in my video description. It finds the best DNS servers near you to cut ping, fix lag spikes, and keep your game smooth and stable. And the best part? You can try it completely free. So guys, the first method will try to fix low GPU usage while gaming is a simple registry tweak. Start by searching for registry editor in the Windows search bar, then right click and choose run as administrator. Once the editor is open, you'll need to carefully navigate to the exact path that I've shared in the video description, then press enter. When you arrive at the correct location, right click on the empty space in the right hand panel. Select new, doored, 32 bit value and name it AW site mode. After that, double click the new entry, change the value data to two and hit OK. This small edit forces hardware accelerated GPU scheduling to activate on your system even if the regular Windows graphics settings don't show it as an option. Why is this important? On many lower end or older graphics cards, Windows hides this feature by default, which means your GPU isn't being fully utilized. By enabling it manually, you let the GPU take over more of the workload from the CPU. This reduces unnecessary latency, improves stability, and most importantly, allows your graphics card to hit higher and more consistent usage levels. All right guys, the next step to fixing low GPU usage is cleaning out all the junk files that build up on your system over time. To do this, press Windows plus R to open the run dialog box, then type percent %10% and hit enter. This will take you straight into the temporary files folder, which is filled with leftover data from installs, updates, and background processes. These files are completely safe to delete, so select everything inside and remove it. If some files won't delete because they're currently being used, just skip those and clear out the rest. Now you might be asking, how does deleting temporary files help GPU performance? The reason is simple. When your system is overloaded with thousands of unnecessary files, Windows often wastes resources in the background managing or indexing them. This means your CPU and storage drive are being slowed down by tasks that don't actually benefit you. By clearing out this junk, you're freeing up resources, reducing hidden bottlenecks, and making sure your GPU can get the data it needs faster. The result is a smoother, more consistent performance in your games. Now for the next step, we're going straight into the window settings. Once you're there, head over to the gaming section. The first thing you need to do is open the Xbox game bar and turn it completely off. Many players don't realize this tool keeps hidden overlays running in the background and those overlays quietly eat up GPU resources without you even noticing. Disabling it instantly frees up performance. Next, move down to game mode and make sure it's turned on. While it might look like just a simple toggle, what it actually does is prioritize your games' processes over most other tasks running on your system. This ensures more system resources are directed toward your gameplay, which can noticeably improve performance in demanding titles. Now here comes the most important part. If your GPU usage is low, go into graphics settings. The first option you'll see is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Enable it. 
This feature allows your GPU to manage its own memory and tasks directly instead of routing everything through Windows. The result is reduced latency, smoother responsiveness, and overall better performance, especially if your CPU isn't the strongest. After that, scroll down to Graphics Performance Preference. Click on Browse, then add the game or launcher you normally use. Once it appears in the list, click Options and set it to High Performance. Doing this forces Windows to always run your games on your dedicated GPU at full power, rather than defaulting to integrated graphics or energy saving modes that limit performance. By making these adjustments, you're telling Windows to prioritize gaming at the highest level. This helps eliminate background bottlenecks, prevents wasted GPU power, and ensures your graphics card is being used to its full potential for smoother, more consistent gameplay. Alright guys, now let's move into the GPU control panel. I'm using NVIDIA, so I'll show you the NVIDIA control panel settings, but don't worry if you have a different brand, like AMD or Intel. The options may look a little different, but you'll still find similar settings inside your GPU's control panel. Start by opening the search bar, type NVIDIA control panel, and open it. Once it loads, look to the left hand side and click on manage 3D settings. This section is very important because here you can directly control how your GPU behaves while gaming. First, under the global settings tab, scroll down to power management mode. By default, this is usually set to adaptive or optimal power. The issue with those modes is that they downclock the GPU when Windows thinks full performance isn't needed. That's a common reason why GPU usage gets stuck at 40 or 50% during heavy games. To fix this, change it to prefer maximum performance. This forces the GPU to stay in its highest performance state whenever a game is running, preventing it from idling. Next, find low latency mode and set it to ultra. What this does is reduce the number of frames your CPU pre-renders before sending them to the GPU. On systems with low GPU usage, the CPU often queues up too many frames, making the GPU sit idle instead of working at full load. Switching to Ultra fixes that by delivering frames faster, which increases GPU workload and raises usage. Now scroll down to Vertical Sync VSync and turn it off. With VSync enabled, the GPU is forced to match your monitor's refresh rate, and once that cap is reached, it stops rendering extra frames. This artificially lowers usage because the GPU is being told to stop working. Disabling it lets your graphics card push frames at its full potential. After that, locate threaded optimization and set it to on. This allows your GPU to use multiple CPU threads for communication instead of just one. Leaving it off limits the data flow, slows things down, and often causes low usage. Enabling it ensures your GPU gets the information it needs quickly and consistently. Once you've made these changes, click Apply. But don't stop there. Switch over to the Program Settings tab. Here you can add the specific game you want to optimize by clicking Add, selecting the game's executable file.exe, and then applying the same settings. Power Management Mode, Maximum Performance, Low Latency Mode, Ultra, VSync, Off, and Threaded Optimization, On. This ensures that even if the Windows or other programs try to override your global defaults, your game will always run with maximum GPU performance. By applying these settings, you're removing the restrictions that keep your graphics card from holding back. Instead of running at low usage percentages, your GPU will be pushed harder, giving you higher frame rates and smoother, more stable gameplay across all your games. 
That's it for today's guide on fixing low GPU usage while gaming. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more performance tips.